Hey, so today we're going to look at how to manage your triggers and this has come about because I got triggered today and as I was working my way through it, I thought, oh, that might be useful for someone else. So that's what we're going to have a quick look through today. But before we do that, we're going to look at why is it important that we learn to manage our triggers. So the first reason is that it cuts the supply to your eggs. They thrive on your negative emotions. So when you learn to manage it, you're cutting them off. It reduces your exposure to harmful chemicals. When you're in a stressed state, you feel cortisol and adrenaline flooding your system. And these are not meant to be in you for very long. They are short bursts, but when you're exposed to them for a long period of time, they can cause real problems, which brings on to number three. It's that it reduces those health risks. Number four is it makes you feel more in control, which is really important so that you can make better decisions. You can use the parts of your brain. So four steps to managing triggers. First one is to remove yourself from the situation itself. So now that might be by shutting your laptop down or putting your phone down or getting out of a room. It doesn't necessarily have to be you're having the situation with that person present. So step two is to distract yourself with a routine task. Doing a routine task allows your nervous system to come back into alignment and for the parts of your brain that you need to begin the next stage to come back online. And so it's really important that you do something that is almost on autopilot. Three is to begin to process those emotions and raise your vibration. When you're stuck in negative, you can't process what you've experienced, but now you've calmed your nervous system, you are able to begin to process exactly what happened. So you'll start asking yourself questions. Why did it bother you so much? What happened? What it happened in your body? What happened with your thought process? I find the best way to do this journaling, but for you, it might be you phone a friend and talk it through. It might be that you go for a run and allow it to happen. Whatever works for you, just make sure that it's something that you can begin to process. And step four is to get creative and to align to solutions. So when you begin doing something creative, which you couldn't have done earlier on because you weren't in that place, you are aligning yourself with solutions. You, The creative juices allow the part of your brain that is inspired, that is innovative to come to life. And so that's really important for you to get access to what the solutions are. At step four, you're in the right place. If you try to do that at step one, you would only be aligning to more problems because you're stressed out. You're a low vibrational state. You are only thinking out of the fear and survival parts of your brain. By going through these steps, you open up the parts of your brain that has access to solutions access access to your strength your cognitive ability to be able to logically think through something so if you go through these steps you're much more likely to be able to come up with great solutions what many people do is they try and think of solutions at step one and you're just not ready to do that i hope that you found this helpful do comment below with any insights